clap, clap. So, oh yeah. we're out in his livery. I need to get the wind hood on this. All right, that's better. Got my wind hood on. So, we've just left Dubrovnik. We've got a hundred and something miles to go. And we've had a nice little travel down the inside of the Alafiti Islands. This is Shapan behind us. Shapanska Luka down into here. And it's nice flat water. We've got our sails out, but the engine's on. We've only got about 10 to 12 knots. Hoping we're gonna get 20 knots out in the channel, but I'm also thinking, hey, have I got the energy to do a vlog? So I'm giving this a go. This is something I'd usually do, do it off next split. I'd kind of just do it in a straight line, like it's 17, 18 hours. You can just you can just get on board and go through the night and get there. We've got a forecast southeast, 20 to 30 knots over the next three days. And I've got a couple of friends on board that I've been telling I'll take sailing for a long time and I don't have the time to do it. So I brought them along on this one to help out. And that means I won't be absolutely ruined from doing this on my own. So this is our next three days of sailing Oceanus 48, Dektos from Dubrovnik to Split and hopefully enjoying it a little bit along the way. <laughs> you can tell you've been out night sailing when your ISO was set at 5,000. Oh yeah. Oh. What do we got going on out here? There we go. That's got to be bright. There he is. He's enjoying his book in incredibly overexposed fashion. There we go. Oh, because my shutter was like, so we spent the night anchored underneath uh, the monastery here at Badia. Um, what is this called? Do you remember? Uh, it's the Francisca Monastery. Francisca Monastery at Badia, very close to Cortula. And um, this was my little like weather monitoring alarm clock I did is I parked instead of anchoring just over here where I know it would stay dead flat anchored here because in the southeast it pulls a wave through this gap not big but just enough to feel it and so that told me it's going to wake me up when the waves started picking up when the wind started picking up so that's what we did but now we've just had coffee thank you Burak it's been delicious it was, it was the Miro latte um, all milk and sugar and deliciousness and now we're going to sail to Cortula and have our breakfast underneath the city of Cortula like kings like kings. Shift to the mints. Sure, even though they only have one seat. I mean, but that's the thing. Right, you guys want to see Kocha? Yeah. Kocha, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. go see Kocha. Where's the best seat? I'll clean up. I'll clean up. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll clean up. You guys go for a walk, go enjoy Kocha. I've seen it. Um, and <laughs> we gotta go. So, yeah, go, go enjoy it. Oh, yeah. That's it. Keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming. Keep it coming. A little bit more, a little bit more. I love your work. Okay, a little further, a little further, a little further, a little further, a little further. Okay, ready to release. Handle out. Tail out, ready to release. Jai Bing, hold. It's gonna flick in three, two, release. Release, 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 release. There we go. 
That's why we don't do it with the hot water on. <laughs> We're on our way, we're sitting at about 7.7 .7 to 8.9, 9 knots. We just reefed down the main. Uh, main sheet's a bit short. Just reefed down the main. And we've got, we're leaving Cortula. Three knots, I think. We're moving. It's going to be fun. T-shirt with it. to 40 knots and three to four meter waves mostly like two and a half to three but there was some bigger ones in there and there was some messy swell bouncing off uh, splitting around Jadro coming down from stone versus from pali shots and then and then coming around Cortula from the last time it was a mess and it was a hell of a job sailing in here like that Got a busted rubber, rudder bearing, so steering was very tough. Um, autopilot can't really handle it in those, like you shouldn't ask it to handle it in those conditions. Um, and the boat really wants to round up, so we had to get our sail set right. Earlier on, we were, we were motor sailing um, half the day, like we needed the motor just to help keep us on track for approaching. But this second half, we managed to get more Genoa out and fight it and have a Matched out at 10.3 knots, though. How, <laughs> how was your experience, Mero? I don't know. I was very focused on not throwing up. <laughs> reach level seven salsa. He, he that, can now dance barehandedly. <laughs> that's right. He did reach level seven salsa. Just currently trying to get ourselves into Milna. We've sailed right across, had a great sail across through the split gates, and now it's dark and we're trying to get up into Milna. It's blowing 40 knots on our nose at 2200 RPM. We're only making 3.8, four knots upwind, so it's um, <laughs> it's dark, it's windy, and it's it's good fun. But uh, we're gonna, gonna stop at Milna tonight, have a good meal, sleep in, and then attack the rest in the morning. It is absolutely raging in here. We just docked in Milner, ACI Milner, on the town side, underneath the church tower here. Uh, it was blowing 30 to 40 knots as we came in. And he wanted us alongside on the outer pier, and I was like, oh, that's coming alongside there, getting blown off, just that's a lot of stress on everything to try and get it on there. And I think I was gonna have a pretty rough night. So I said, hey, can we come in? Can we come into this area? Uh, so we set all our fenders up to come in, and then his place, he didn't agree with me. He wanted me bow to the wind. I wanted to come in stern to the wind so that I had more control and I could do it nice and slowly and there was no rush on it. Uh, we sort of had a conversation. With my stern to the wind, I was able to just hold place, and that's really important. So stern to the wind, it was very windy. I had, I had a lot of throttle on just to hold station because it was 35, 35 knots. And, um, and then we came in and we got alongside, now we're parked up here. Boring lines holding our beam out and we're all good. We're all good.
Today has been massively full of deliberation because it's been raging this morning, 100% raging. But um, trying to make the decision of whether or not we go back. So we've had probably 40 knots most of the morning. It's due to get even windier tomorrow. Southeast is due to rage. There's warnings up everywhere. It's all kind of mental. Um, then it's due to drop off late tomorrow night. So my options are go back at any time and risk getting into the marina at Castella where I don't know exactly where I'm going to berth. Um, and the, the main issue here actually is that I've got a busted rudder bearing few issues with the boat that doesn't give me 100% confidence in doing the docking in such ridiculous weather. Oh, that's better. Um, the other issue is, is that I haven't paid for the papers yet. It's now past, so it's now six o'clock in the evening and very likely I won't be able to, the office closes at two, very likely I won't be able to get my papers and pay my bill, be able to get my papers and pay my bill. So I've just gone and got the number on duty of the sailor on duty to see if it's possible that he takes my money and gives me my papers back so that I can sail out. Because it's really, it has really calmed down. I'd say it's only 25 knots in here, 20 knots in here, to be honest. Koala, ciao. Well, that's the answer to that. The papers are in the safe and he doesn't have a key and no one's gonna come until tomorrow. And he said, no one will come, even if I ask them. <laughs> so, I guess that's that. Hmm. I mean, it's a pretty good spot to be tied up relatively. Like, we're pretty safe here. Um, we've got an outside mooring line running down, running down here. Another one on our port quarter. We're well away from the dock uh, and I've got springs and everything set up here and down the back as well that's our boarding ramp which is quite steep but we're managing it because um, there's uh, repairs to be done on the on the swim platform there's some breakages and things so we can't put that down which is a way we could have done that easier so if we get this big wind tomorrow which is they're talking 100 kilometers per hour strongest in the split region which is exactly where we are and I mean, I know it's still windy. That's, that's still windy. But that's only 30, 35 knots, and that's all right. I don't mind getting to Castell over that. So, plan now is that we stay and figure, out, figure it out tomorrow. Basically, we're going to have to wait for the worst of it to come through. And then by about maybe 6 or 7 p.m., we should be able to get out of here. Um, arrive over there at 8 p.m. when it drops off, but it's all going to be a waiting game and it's a gamble now. Wow, it's always a gamble. That's sailing. Oh yeah, and it's Easter. There's a lot of bells going off, but it's still windy.